brand new song every single week to end off 2021. We're putting out brand new songs every Friday. I'm super pumped. This Friday, the song is called As I Am. I'm gonna take you into the computer and I'm actually gonna break down how I made the song. Of course, Philly, Philly produced the song, so I'm gonna break down every single piece of it. Life is good, I got so much energy and I'm super pumped to finally be putting out a song every single week, week, week. So without further ado, I'm gonna break down how I made my new single that's coming out this Friday, As I Am. Let's go. Don't play with me. Ah, come on. Don't ever play with me. Ooh, ooh, ooh that kind of burned my nose. I'm very excited about showing you this song. First thing I wanna tell you, when I made it. I made the song as in I started this song August 2nd of 2020. Yeah, it says right here, date created 8-2-2020. It took me a long time to like just finish this and that's not usually my MO. I don't like taking a long time to put out songs. However, this was in a phase where I was just making a lot of music, not feeling pressure to put them out. So a lot of the songs that I'm gonna be putting out are songs that I made like damn near, over a year ago. And this song has gone through a lot of different versions. So I'm gonna break down the song. I'm really excited about it. I like to break it down piece by piece. First, got a really, really nice chill piano sample. Didn't change it, just left it like that. Oh. All right, the next part, I took the exact same sample that piano, and then I did chop it up and I did something different with it. Complimenting each other. And of course I had to add a vocal chop. Listen to this vocal chop. <laughs> I'm a sucker for these vocal chops, homie. Like, you could just write to that. You know you could. You know you could just write to that. All right. Next part, got a little synth. I love synths like this, just like a vibe. Just like you got that vibe to it. This part, super special. I was like, I need to add something to, like a flare in the hook. So I came up with these strings, obviously played them. Just something to flare out, like. All together. You know. All right, let's get to the drums. Listen to that. That snare is special because it's beefy. Like sometimes you want to have a snare that's like a clap sound. Sometimes you want a beefier snare. And then when I heard all these melodies together, I said, I need a beefy snare. Listen to that. That snare just like punch you in the face. Punch you in the face. Then we got the kick. Bring in the rest of the drums. Really check these drums out. The drums, I really wanted to do just different types of patterns with the drums. Like a lot of producers, and this is no knock to anybody at all, but every producer has their own method to making drums. Sometimes People draw them in, like click them in, which I think is cool because you end up making dope drums. Sometimes you kind of already have stuff pre-programmed. Sometimes people like to play their drums manually. I generally lean more toward playing my drums manually, but like I said, no knock to any producers at all. Trust me, because I've worked with producers who don't do this and they make dope beats and great songs, so it's not a knock. It's just how I like to do it. So for this one, I was like, I definitely want to make them dance a little bit. Like the hi-hats, the, there's different extra snares. gets me in that vibe so I want to go freaking work out. Okay, let's talk about the arrangement really quick because the arrangement was special. Started the song, little intro, verse comes in, 
with only a couple instruments. And of course my favorite, the tag. Come on. They try to tell me what to and what not. They the first ones to hate, think they bust shots. But I think I've had enough, so please just stop. We were supposed to work together when the love stopped. But now I'm on my own. So mixing this, you see, I've, it's crazy. I'm looking at the way I mixed it. And for those of you who don't know what mixing is, that just basically means like the way you blend all the sounds together. You put like certain effects. They're called plugins. You put like a little plug-in. Like it's all like the audio engineering side of it. The way that I mix now is so much different than the way I mix this song, but I'm still happy with the way I mixed it. I wanted the vocals to sound crispy and warm, but have a good amount of like space. So we gave it reverb. So you can kind of listen to how I did that. They try to tell me what to and what not. They the first ones to hate, think they bust shots. But I think of that. It's like sounds like you're in like a room, like a performance hall or something. That's called reverb. And then I have some double ups. They try to tell me what to and what not. They the first ones to hate, think they bust shots. All together, for right now, there's not all the drums, so listen to how the, the moment changes from the verse to the chorus. But I think I've had enough, so please just stop. We were supposed to work together when the love stopped. But now I'm on my own. Gotta carry the love. Got faith in my approach. Here we go. Listen to how it all comes in. This is who I am, strong as I stand, respect me as a man. So, essentially, same thing kind of happens in the uh, second verse, right? We go in with um, with just more rapping and all that. But after the second verse, I have a bridge, and I want to break down how I made that bridge. So I'm gonna play. I'll play the bridge for you, and then I'll break it down. Played it, of course. This is like if I'm on stage, I'd be like, "Get your hands up right now!" Hands up! Hey, hey. Like, like something like that, or I'd get in the middle. Huddle up, huddle up, hey, uh, this is who I, I'll be like this. Uh, 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 like, do something crazy. You already know I got that crazy vibe, right? I made this part with a couple of things in mind. Number one, I get very inspired by Kanye West to do just different stuff with my music arrangement wise, and this is one of those things that, that would be an example of like, oh yeah, this is Kanye inspired. But the other reason is like I was just showing you, I'm preparing a moment for when I get on stage. If I wanna perform this song, this is a great moment to get the crowd involved, to be like, like look at what I'm just showing you, hands up, everybody, like, I could talk to the crowd right now if I wanted to. I could be like, how many of you feel proud to be who you are? Like, I could just do any, like so many different things and like this leaves me that space to do it. I'll play it into the last hook. Kind of one of my classic last hooks where it's a little beat breakdown and it all comes back in. This is who I am, strong as I stand. Respect me as a man, you gonna take me as a moment. Take me as I am, and then moment, strong right. as I stand. Hands up, hands up, hands up, hey, hey. This is who I am, you yes, can uh. All that negativity, you know I don't need it. This is who I am, you gonna take me as it. This song, super special song to me. Super special song to me. Um, you know, it really, it's about, it, I mean, it, I say it in lyrics. This is who I am, strong as I stand, respect me as a man, you gonna take me as I am. It's literally just me being like, yo, this is who I am, I am who I am, I'm gonna do what I do. Either take me for how I am, or don't take me at all. I'm not a, a person who will change, you know, the way that I feel or the way that I act just to impress other people or, or or anything like that's just not the type of person that I am and and um, you know it's crazy like we're in 2021 here in October beginning of October and uh, dude so many crazy things are going on right now and it's making my head explode like every single day and like I think now is a time where we need more men and women to stand up for what they really believe is the truth and uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, I need to do it better myself, but it has been a freaking challenge. And like, I actually wanted to talk about this regardless of me showing you the song, like aside from music, like I actually wanted to talk about this, but like, 
you know, just everything that's going on here in the United States, in California, in the Bay Area where I live. Stuff is crazy right now. It's nuts what's happening in the way our, the, what, the direction that our country is going in and the direction that our, they want our minds going is, is, dude, you've got to be blind to just be ignoring this stuff. And I'm not ignoring it. And I'll be honest with you, it has been a struggle for me mentally. Like, it's been really a big struggle because I see things a certain way based on fact. Other people see things based on facts that maybe they see that are different than mine. And I don't really know what to do. Like, I want to take action. I want to do some crazy stuff. Not nothing like to hurt anybody, but I, just, I have ideas, but I'm like, I don't know if I can pull it off. I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I want to do it. If I want to ruin my reputation and tarnish what I've built for so many years, like my reputation. But yeah, it's just like a lot going through my head right now. And, um, and honestly, like it's, it's been, it's been, uh, it's been, it's not, I'm not going to say it's been so hard. It's not, bro. I, my life is great. I'm doing great and all that, but it's just been hard for me to understand what I should be doing in my place in the world because I'm like, I don't think on this surface level of like, oh, okay, I can just, whatever, I'll just go with it. Like, I'm not a go with the flow dude at all. And I never will be. And I will never, like my children won't be go with the flow people. Like, that's not how we, we don't do that. We don't go with the flow. We make the flow. If we go with the flow, we're just gonna be freaking average. If you just go with the flow, you're gonna let other people control your destiny. You're gonna let other people control the way your life is and the way your mind works. I don't go with the flow. We don't go with the flow. Forget that, bro. Don't go with the flow. You make the flow. Or you ride your own wave or you go whatever freaking analogy you want. Go with the flow. I don't fuck, fuck going with the flow, bro. Do you. Make your life the way you want your life to be. And be proud. And I'm pointing to the screen because this song is about this topic. Be proud of who you are. Be proud of what you believe in. Be proud of what you stand for. And and live your life through that. Don't, 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 don't fall back and be like, oh man, people are people are attacking me. You know, people close to me don't agree with me. I, I should fall back. No, that's when you get closer. You say, no, this is what I do. This is me. If we have more strong people like that, I'm not saying strong like me. I'm not saying that. I'm saying if we had more people that were strong, that, that, that were strong in their views, that weren't just down to sit back and relax and enjoy the show, then we'd, we'd be in a better position right now. But we're not. Unfortunately, we're not. And um, things aren't getting better right now. They're going to get better, I hope, but they're not getting better right now. They're getting worse. In the next two to three years, things aren't going to get better. And, and you know what I'm talking about. They're not getting better. So... Do the like, 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 do, do, do the things that you feel like you need to do to make your life better, and I, I, and 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 be the best version of yourself. That's that's really all I can say. So, yeah, a little bit of music breakdown. Really excited for the new song. If you're watching this and the song has not come out yet, be ready for it. But if you are watching it and the song is out, I'm obviously gonna leave the link in the description. It's gonna come out October 8th. So I'm really, really, really excited about this song, Peaceful Fridays. And I'm, I'm gonna say one more thing too before I get to the call to actions. On last week's episode, I talked about the, a little bit of the meaning of Peaceful Fridays and why I'm putting out a song a week. Let me help you understand more about that though. This is important. Of course, I'm doing it for my music career, for marketing purposes, branding purposes. Yeah, obviously, bro. So we don't even need to mention that. But what's the meaning and the branding behind Peaceful Fridays? Well, as a peaceful leader, it takes a lot more strength and and discipline to be peaceful. That doesn't mean that doesn't mean don't stand up for what you believe. That doesn't mean weak. Peace has to come from controversy sometimes. Peace has to come from shaking the game up. And so for me, that's what these songs are for me. Is I need to shake the game up for myself. Because musically, I feel like I, I'm kind of get all over the place. Sometimes I get distracted with stuff and I'm not able to stay on the right track musically. I always go hard, but I need to make bigger strides musically. And me putting out a brand new song a week is me saying to myself, shake the game up for yourself. Shake it up. Stay with it. And, and that's what I'm trying to do for you. And why Peaceful Fridays? Songs are going to go out on Fridays. Generally, a lot of music gets put out on Fridays. Some people say don't do that. Some people say do. I love Fridays because it's my new day off and it's amazing. I love Fridays, the vibe around it. The other thing too is it's me giving you this music for free every single Friday for the remainder of the year is basically like, look, hey, let's shake the game up together. I'm shaking the game up in my life. I'm trying to go harder. I'm trying to add di better uh, disciplines in my life so I can get better results. Let's do that together. That's what Peaceful Fridays mean. 
Let's shake the game up. Let's cause a little bit of commotion in our own lives so that we can achieve the peace that we so desire. All right, I hope hope you got some value out of the video. I hope you liked the song. Check out the song when you get the chance. And I uh, appreciate you so much for watching this. This is another episode of Lizzie's Life. Peaceful Fridays, we are underway. Let's go. This is who I am.